Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded, <clears throat> so hopefully everything's back at normal. Anyway, we just entered the trough and scoff area so we can enter the bananas. We need 250 this time. It's a big step up compared to the other bosses, but again, the normal bananas are the most important thing in this game. I finally figured out a way how I can uh, shrink the file size um, so that uh, I can actually record more videos so I should be able to get this walkthrough done completely so no more worries about whether my hard drive can hold the videos or not anymore however I might not be able to get two walkthroughs out before I need a hard drive so I'm going to upload these videos slowly as you guys already know, so... <clears throat> Alright, this is Lanky's boss, so you might as well turn in the last 50 bananas with Lanky. There's no point in switching to another Kong unless you just really don't like the color of a different banana. This boss is actually pretty easy. I did a test run of this a few days ago and I didn't even need uh, more than one try. It's really simple. So I doubt any of you would have to take more than two or three tries to beat it if you play the game. For any of you who know, or don't know, or want to know actually I should say, I'm not recording this off of an emulator or a Wii Virtual Console game. As far as I know, it is not out for the Wii and I'm playing this off of my original Nintendo 64 it still works good in my opinion this is the creepiest boss in the game not the last one If you look really close, you can tell that Lanky kind of has his clown nose, and it's kind of weird. Alright, it's a giant puffer fish. I'm not really sure what it's called, but basically use the same controls as the seal race with Donkey Kong in this kind of boat with uh, Lanky. And you swim through, and you uh, drive through these DK stars. That's basically it the whole time. The time limits do get shorter. It's really not that hard. I think you have to swim through five each time, but I'm not too sure. He does gain more attacks. There's really not any that you need to look out for. And this will raise up, it looks like, five or six. Star, well, rods and zap them with some electricity. You have to do this a total of either four or five times. I really can't remember. In the case he does a shockwave, just go to the outside, furthest outside edge if possible. If you're really running low on a time limit, just be reckless. This is a bit awkward at controlling, especially on the turns, but if you just start going the wrong way, it doesn't matter. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, each time, or each round, sometimes the stars get a little bit closer to his body, so you need to watch out for how far away from him they are so you can uh, time your uh, turns right. And sometimes you can just be really reckless with your turn like I was there and actually get away from it more than you would have if you just stayed straight. This guy is almost done. 
but I think we'll either have one or two more times. The lowest the timing gets is 10 seconds. So we have one more after this. This guy is really easy. He's long more than anything else. Did he just shoot out a puffer fish? Yeah, he did. Okay. Oh man, I just noticed that I had half an hour on it. Hopefully I won't die. I'm just being really reckless in my time. Alright, let's uh, hope that I can do this last round without any problems, considering we're going to have to speed around like a madman. This time I will be careful. Oh, I just noticed this too, the DK stars get smaller and smaller. For some reason it's easier for me to hit smaller targets. That has killed him, I think. Yes, defeated him. Just pops into a key. It's kind of uh, bad, isn't it? Oh yeah, I forgot you could jump. I guess you could do that for the shockwaves, though I just tend to go as far away as I can from him. Alright, we are done with Gloomy Galleon completely. Thank goodness. I'll just save real quick and exit the level. The next uh, level I shouldn't have too much of a hard time with. It's actually not too bad. I remember it being a lot worse on my first time through, but uh, a long time ago, but uh, it's actually not too bad. However, the level after this next one is going to be really annoying for me. It is probably the most annoying level in the game. I take back Gloomy Galleon being the most annoying. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes in my test runs, but I really don't know right now. Alright, now KLMZ is happy again. And now that we've gotten two keys, we can now unlock a new level. This level will uh, open up that giant boulder by the waterfall, also by the number three banana port, which is the shortest way to get there. So uh, that cannon will take you up really high to the next level. It, like my sister said, I don't know if you could hear or anything, but uh. It's her personal favorite level, and you'll see why when we enter. However, we have run out of time for this video. I know that there's a DK pile, but uh, we're going to get all the DK aisle, golden bananas, banana fairies, and DK uh, piles very last, because in my opinion, they are the most fun. So, since we have run out of time for this video, we'll see you all next time.